what is up everybody welcome back to the channel i'm currently on my way to roan mountain tennessee where i'm going to be meeting up with sam he's having a couple cycling races this weekend down in tennessee so i decided to join him joining us also is ivan Sam and I are both sharing our locations with each other so you can see approximately where we are away from each other. And we're about 30 miles apart from each other on the same road. Ivan and I are going to stop at this wilderness area called St. Mary's Wilderness Area. I'm going to do a little walk, a little hike, let Ivan relieve himself and maybe get himself a little wet. Try to find some water for him maybe. And yeah. I'm going to do a little hike. I mean this is like a four and a half mile trail but we don't have time to do all of that. We're just going to walk a little bit, let Ivan use the bathroom. I see some water here. He's going to go in there for sure. So we have a good little time. You know, we're traveling this direction, got a lot of really nice hiking areas in Southwest Virginia. So figured might as well kill two birds with one stone, explore something, explore someplace while I'm traveling down this way. Man, this place is beautiful. Look at that. And yes, I'm doing this in the Jesus sandals <laughs> just passed some hikers and they said that not even too much further down there are plenty of nice swimming holes so I'm gonna take their word I'm gonna keep going a little bit and uh, see if we can find a nice swimming hole for Ivan and maybe even myself Good boy. this is a beautiful spot wow what an awesome little pit stop this is. Life is too short to not get in, man. That was an awesome plunge. <laughs> We're heading back now. We've got about four and a half hours left on this drive, so we got some ground to cover. So we have just about 200 miles left, so about three and a half hours. And you can see down here, Sam has made it past Tennessee. He's now into Tennessee, so. He's like 160 miles ahead of me, way ahead of me, but we're having a fun time, so. And we have officially crossed into Tennessee. Let's go, one hour left. Look who's practicing for the race. Здравствуйте, Иван, Иван. Капила! Капила, мой брат! We have made it to the place. It's a nice little place. Ivan's exploring the property.
Tough. <laughs> I haven't checked my dog. Yeah, this is a nice place. <laughs> this place is nice. Here's the grub we got. Beef shanks, ground elk, chicken liver, cottage cheese, grass-fed cheddar cheese, eggs, butter, milk. Also got Ivan's homemade food. And sparkling water. So it's about eight o'clock right now. Sun sets in like 40 minutes. So we're gonna go to, I think I just ran over something. <laughs> so we're gonna go to a little hike. It's a mile and a half total, short and sweet, but it's gonna lead us to some nice views. Hopefully catch a sunset. Forest here. Oh. Several blue ridges on there. Uh-huh. Literally. That's insane. That's unreal, dude. That's crazy, dude. I think I'm actually kind of like... It's so beautiful. Unbelievable. I'm like in awe right now. Same man. Sam's first dinner. Liver, eggs, chicken, rice. For the no. big race. Ivan's dinner is ready. We got chicken liver, ground beef, veggies, eggs, pumpkin. Wait. Okay. Alright, this is gonna be the dinner. 
two beef shanks, and some eggs. And I got some liver already on the plate. Dude, dude, <laughs> yeah. All right, dinner is served. Four eggs, grass-fed cheddar cheese, two beef shanks, and chicken liver. Mm. All right, it is currently 12.20 a.m. That's gonna wrap up the first day of our weekend trip. Gotta get up at like 7, 8 a.m. tomorrow for Sam's first race, which is at 9 a.m. So I'm gonna help him out with that and drive him from point A to point B and whatnot. And then he has another race at 5 p.m., but he'll probably be on his own for that one and I'll go on a hike or something. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on tomorrow, but We'll see what happens. Yeah, that's it from us for tonight, and uh, see y'all tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, everybody. Sam and I are gonna go to the first location for his first race. Gotta dip like right now, cause he's gotta be there in 30 minutes, so. Same man, good luck. Thank you. So I drove 20 miles from where I dropped Sam off, just over over 20 miles. And right before Carver's Gap, I stopped here at this overlook. And I'm going to wait for Sam. I think he's still further down. So he should hopefully come up this road and I'll catch him. And then the finish line to the race is further up there. And that'll be it. So I'm just waiting and I'm going to catch him cycling by. But for now, I'm admiring these views. That was just Sam who passed by, who actually passed by way earlier than I thought he would. So I don't know what that means, but I'm about to go pick him up right now and we'll see what's up. Something better. <laughs> just finished the guided Wim Hof breathing session. I'm about to plunge in the stream down below. I wish you a good night, or a good day, and a good life. All the love, all the power. Let's check the temperature. Not bad, not too cold. Finish the plunge. Doing some barefoot walking. Post plunge, it's like 1.30 right now. I need some lunch. Got five eggs, cottage cheese, bananas, frozen blueberries, hot coffee. Hot coffee. So Sam and I split up, he's gonna do a time trial 
for cycling and I'm gonna do a little hike with Ivan here up at Carver's Gap again. So we are doing Cloud Len Trail to Roan Bluff. Right now, actually in the parking lot, I saw a couple with two tollers, the same breed as Ivan. It was so awesome because you just, you don't see the breed often. It's not a very popular breed. So it was really cool to see them. Gosh, that is insane. I mean, this is just like 0 0.05 miles into the trail, like literally just one minute down into the trail and you get this insane overlook. Oh my gosh. The air in these woods are just so crisp. Beautiful. That is insane, wow. And you can see a storm brewing down there. And as you keep moving this way, perfect weather. Wow. Goodbye, Roan High Bluff. Nice little hike, great views. I'm gonna head back down towards our cottage. Maybe stop at the cottage, maybe go somewhere else. I don't know, we'll see. Stopped on the side of the road at this stream here. It's called Kate's Hole. It's beautiful. Whoa. Oh boy. Man, he almost got lost with the current there, but over here it slows down, so he's fine. <laughs> he just throws himself into the water. Recovery meal. Sandwich, chicken, elk, cheese, eggs, uh, beef shank, chicken liver, elk with some cheddar cheese melted on top. All right, that's a wrap on our first full day. Tomorrow's our second and last full day. Don't really have too much planned, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. Good night. What is up, good morning. It is day two, full day, last day. Sam had his third and last race of the weekends. He finished fifth, which is like top third. We have some hikes planned. I'm gonna check the oil for the car and uh, we're gonna head out. Me, Sam and I are gonna drive out about an hour and a half to a waterfall trail and then maybe another one, we'll see. But yeah, we're gonna do some hiking.
we're on this awesome gravel road which is like four miles long down to the trail which is going to take actually a while to drive because you got to go kind of slow but this is such an awesome drive We're doing Steels Creek Big Falls, I believe that's what it's called. Already looks really beautiful. Natural water slide? Oh my gosh. Wow. This is it? <laughs> Not even, dude. This isn't even it. I think we gotta go up there, we gotta cross somehow. Look at it, it loves us. <laughs> Ivan, come on, let's go. Ooh. We gotta get all the way down there to keep going on the trail. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was really intense. Gosh. Look who always finds their way to the water. This is actually very technical, dangerous, but it's beautiful. Beautiful, look at that. Everywhere, it's just waterfalls. I have no idea where I've been at. There you are. <laughs> Let's check the temperature. A very warm 60. A really warm 60. We're leaving the plunge area. Maybe see if we can get a better view of the actual falls right down here. Ah, oh, look at that.
And look at that swimming hole down there. You can see the falls. Wow. Look at this mountaineer, man. Look at this beast. <laughs> All right, that wraps up the hike. Probably the only hike we're gonna end up doing. Got a quick update here. Peter's in this uh, store getting some uh, food. A little farmer's market kind of store. And I got some uh, Equal Exchange coffee. Nice brand. We got duck eggs, half dozen, uh, full dozen eggs. Big steak, Ivan. Yeah, he wants that. And then some local Roan Mountain honey. Still waiting on Peter. On the way back, we stopped at a little shop on the side of the road. Really cute little shop. I got some asparagus, peaches, onion. Also got half a carton of eggs, ribeye steak. Got some of the Swedish cream ice cream here. That's the market, by the way. The liar's table. Also got some frozen ground beef that I'm trying to thaw right now. I'm trying to defrost right now. So we'll see if I can cook that up tonight. Got some asparagus finishing up here, but this is the dinner here. Ribeye steak, onions, three cheeseburgers. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Mm. All right, so that is the end of the second full day and our last day. Leave tomorrow. Check out is 12 p.m. So yeah, we're gonna wake up kind of early, clean up, leave, and uh, yeah, we'll see what the plan is for tomorrow. I'm gonna hit something up on the way back home. Good night. I've been playing in his private stream for the last time before we head out. See you, man. See you. Good trip. Yeah, good trip. Still recording? Follow Equip Racing on Instagram <laughs> and see our website, equip.racing. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> see ya. Yeah, we're on our way home. On the way home, about two hours away from here. I might hit up Hungry Mother State Park, so we'll see. The trip technically isn't over. I might, I'm still gonna have a little bit of fun on the way back, so yeah. So we have made it to Hungry Mother State Park. This is about two hours away from where we were in Roan Mountain, Tennessee, and uh, a little bit further from my house. So kind of almost in the middle. So nice little stopping point. I've been trying to come here. I've been meaning to come here. I've been planning to come here, hoping to come here for, for months and months and months now. So I figured, you know what? It's on the way back home. Let's hit it up. So we are doing Molly's Knob Trail, which is 1.7 miles up to Molly's Knob Summit, which is named after Molly, aka the hungry mother of this park, who is called Hungry Mother by her baby. So that's the brief history of this trail and the name of this park. 
which many people think is a weird name, but that's how it was created. Um, but I mean, I don't know too much more than that. Yeah, I've been wanting to come to this park for several months now. And specifically this trail, Molly's Knob Trail, for a couple of months now. After learning about the history of this trail, connected to the history of this park in general. I've been really wanting to do this trail specifically, so I'm very happy to finally be here. Because yeah, I figured it's on the way home. I mean, I'm going to be getting home late, but who cares? I'm here, let's do it. Half a mile left, final climb. Whew. It's only like 1.7 miles up, but it got really steep the last 0.4 miles. Wow. Nearly a thousand feet elevation gain in 1.7 miles. Like that's not easy. That is not easy. Dang. And you can see Mount Rogers. Somewhere down there, I, one of those high peaks over there which is the highest peak in Virginia. Really cool. Wow. All right, Molly's Knob, till next time. All right, that is the hike, Molly's Knob. Three and a half miles, almost a thousand feet elevation gain, an hour and a half. Not that bad, that's, that is quite the challenge right there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this trip. I'm just gonna drive home the rest of the way now. Not gonna stop too much. Thank you guys for joining me and Sam and Ivan on this trip. If you guys enjoyed this road trip, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Also, let me know what was your guys' favorite views in the comments below. Personally, mine would probably be round bald on the, the first night we made it. But, I mean, I loved everything, so. Yeah, thank you guys again for joining us, and uh, till next time.